When Losey developed the LMT Monster Truck and partnered with the Andersons to top it off with one of the most iconic Monster Jam truck bodies of all time, it was an instant recipe for success. People loved this truck and there was a resurgence in the solid axle monster truck segment. And I think it's about to blow up even more because Losey has released a mini LMT and I think this is gonna be a huge hit for the mini crowd. And here it is, the mini LMT in 118 scale form, just sized down from the original. It comes completely ready to run and available in two different body options, the Grave Digger and the Son of a Digger that I have here. Now guys, of course, I took this thing apart so you could see all the internals. If you guys appreciate that, do me a favor, use my affiliate link if you're an online shopper in the video description below. That's what helps me do that stuff. Or of course, you could get it through your local hobby shop. Now coming up in the video, I'm gonna show you everything that comes with it. I'll show you the internals of the transmission and axles. And after that, we're gonna take it out for some fun monster truck action. Here's the Mini LMT straight out of the box with the Son of a Digger Willie style body. It's a Lexan body painted on the underside. All the flames are paint, but the rest of the graphics are decals. So the side panels here and the roof panel. The body's held down to an inner cage and there's a Lexan driver figure in there with a molded plastic helmet, chrome grill, and then the headlights with tinted blue lenses and LED lights behind it. Looks absolutely sick once it's lit up. Now the body is actually held down with little spin clips. So to tilt the body up, you just have to spin them. The only thing is it kind of tilts the front of the body a little bit and it's kind of tweaking me out here. I keep pushing it back. So that's the only little downside. And the reason why it's tilted to the one side is because they had to offset that front clip so it doesn't interfere with the servo savers. Now they've got the large BKT Chevron style tires on these offset wheels. And this is pretty cool. They have 12 millimeter hexes. So if for some reason you wanted to find a, a different aftermarket wheel to throw on there, you probably got plenty of options. Then around to the back, they've got a wheelie bar and this is actually a dual position setup. So you could go and have a racing mode or a wheelie mode or stunt mode. I've actually removed the screws here so I can easily take off the body. Now we can take a look at this chassis and the chassis plates are aluminum. They're powder coated in the purple and I like how they matched it with the uh, Nerf bars on the side. So it's actually psyched to see it's not a plastic twin vertical plate chassis. Plenty of holes for altering the shock mounting locations. And then they've got a couple cross braces throughout. The, the one for the front that actually acts as the body clip and uh, up on the shock tower. You can see a couple of braces out back and even a small fuel cell. Battery sits right in the center. They've got these rubber straps to hold down the, the battery pack. And then you can see the headers on the side, the sponsor plate decals, just a scaled down version. And then here is the center transmission plate. You can access the gears through the lower panel, just like you can on the, the larger truck. We might as well get right into the drivetrain here. So inside uh, the center transmission, you've got all metal gears. This truck actually has a lockout to it. Doesn't have a center diff, but at least there's all metal gears and ball bearings on the inside and then the transfer gears here from the pinion uh, those are all metal as well and they have the cush drive in it yeah i was pretty surprised to see that and happy to see it as well then i took the axles apart for you guys and inside i found all metal gears so your ring and pinion your differential spider gears those are all metal ball bearings they have dog bones in the rear the thing is though, it's an open differential. There's no way to use any sort of, well, you could use some heavy grease in there, but you can't use any oils to change the differential action and just look how this thing freewheels. But they've got telescoping center drive shafts, uh, metal yokes on this was absolutely awesome. And then the sliders themselves are a composite plastic. You could see the different color that they are. So they must have a lot of glass in those. And then up front, the, uh, the axles similar to the rear, except they've got universals out to the steering knuckles and those steering knuckles actually look pretty heavy duty. The axle itself looks like it's got a lot of webbing on the inside. Still crack the big composite axles, but they've got these pretty well braced, so we'll have to see how it works. A lot of screws hold these things together. It was a big job to get these things apart to show you guys, but uh, I think hopefully it was worth it. Let me know in the comments section below. Onto the suspension, oil-filled shocks front and rear. They feel pretty good. Uh, different springs in the front than the rear as well, so it looks like they've already done some testing and tuning to this. Gave 
gave us the right spring combination, sway bars, and then metal links, which is absolutely awesome. They're aluminum, and they gave us the aluminum links uh, for both the top and bottom links. Now, the only thing is it does seem like it has a little bit of sway to it, just like the original truck did, and, and that's just the way the links are triangulated so the, the truck handles properly, but you, you will notice a little bit of sway in the truck. Now, I think we just need to get into the electronics. So they've got the SX108 servo up front with the newest servo saver that we saw on the, the mini drag car and then your standard steering link set up a uh, composite steering links then for the speed controller that it's actually a two-in-one combo uh, so it's the receiver as well and you can see that this thing is nicely mounted to this top plate they've got the, the speed controller connector captured here so it's uh, nice and stable once you plug that battery pack in here's your on and off switch on the other side and the uh, speed controller is actually tunable you could go and switch from lipo to nickel metal hydride if for some reason you want to run a nickel metal hydride in there. You can actually change up the reversing feature so you could have forward brake and reverse or just forward right into reverse for, for some tricks and stuff. And then the 810 milliamp 2S Spectrum LiPo battery pack. Then check out the size of that motor, a 380 25 turn motor, which is the largest motor of their minis, all nicely wired from the factory. And then let me show you guys what other stuff comes inside the box. You're gonna get this Spectrum radio system, the SLT2 and some AA batteries to power that you get the newest spectrum usb charger this battery adapter which you're probably never going to use a trading card cross wrench binding plug uh, a poster that actually if you flip it over has some really cool stuff lots of aluminum parts that they're going to offer as options including the axles that's pretty awesome aluminum shocks i think i want those but it's pretty cool to see they'll have option parts right away for this truck now let's head outside and drive it all right guys super windy day out but we're going to start off with a speed test here we'll hit start i've got the gns just thrown on the back and the skate park should be the perfect spot to run everything today and i'm gonna rip on it there we go that's top speed and not bad for a mini monster truck spin it back around look at that that is some good speed all right let's see what we got stop read 15 miles an hour now of course it's time for a little skate park thrash action i am really surprised how quick this little truck is that motor, that 25 turn motor, it's got some power to it. Look at that. <laughs> Whoa, it's a little edgy. So you gotta actually finesse the throttle. When that weight shifts in there, man, it wants to go over. Haha, <laughs> a little air, a little bounce at the end. Off the side here. Yeah, up the top. Whoa, that was absolutely awesome. Such a fun little truck. This riser is pretty sweet. Come off the side of this. Got to show you guys some air off the bump here. Full throttle. Yeah. Look at this. Some air into a wheelie. Awesome. Yeah, off the edge. Oh, 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 and I landed it again. So here's the thing. Wheelies are a little tricky. It's got a lot of bottom end torque to it. So do a little reverse and hit it. Nope. Try it again. Oh, just goes over backwards. There we go, got it, it's walking. Carrying it is a little difficult. Let me try it again. There we go, got it. Oh. All right, here he come right at us. Oh, rail slide, almost. Backflip here. Oh, almost had it. There we go, nailed it. Such a sick little truck. This is absolutely gonna be a hit. 
All right, guys, time for a little fun in the dirt. Look at this thing. It's moving off my little mini ramp. Yeah, through the mud. A lot easier to drive here. A little bit of understeer. Actually, just some push. You know what? We need to do dirt donuts. Why didn't I think of this sooner? <laughs> the front end just wants to push around. There we go. Nice. Hit this ramp. Yeah, <laughs> it just bounces, lands, nice. Look the rough stuff, it's pretty good. If you've got any sort of dirt lot to run this in, it's just gonna be a blast. There you guys have it, the fun side of the mini LMT. It was this really cool, shredding some dirt in the parking lot, thrashing around the skate park. The truck overall is a lot of fun. I think people that are into RC that might wanna do a little freestyling, a little side-by-side -side racing, I think you're gonna find this truck drivable. And those of you that are just going out for fun, yeah, this thing absolutely rocks. So the battery lasts about 10 to 12 minutes. As you guys saw, it goes about 15 miles an hour. So the whole combination of the power and speed and, and runtime is, is all there for this truck. Uh, found it a bit edgy on the asphalt as to be expected with the, the style of suspension that's on this, the higher CG, the the type of tires it is what it is there but out in the dirt that's where it was a lot more fun just much more manageable easy to control and i think the truck took a lot of abuse over there at the skate park it landed on the roof a bunch of times uh did smash up the front grill on this that is the worst damage there's actually little bits of plastic hanging off the front of it right now but you guys saw it i was launching it off of those ramps there and i don't see any issues with the uh the plastic axles here uh, you know I, I didn't actually break my original LMT when I was jumping in at the skate park and uh, this one it seems to be holding up I don't see any other issues with it other than that front uh, grill smashed up uh, I think the one thing I would have liked to have seen them do is have some sort of closed differential cup in there so we could have at least packed those gears with grease just so it doesn't you know freewheel so much uh, I think that causes a little bit of that erratic handling when you're out there just ripping on this thing so now we got to talk price on it and this thing is priced at $270 and that's a bit steep for a mini monster truck. Uh, it's 18 scale, it's sized right, but you know, they do have the licensing on here and they've got a lot of metal parts in the drive line and some metal links and stuff, metal chassis. So it's, it's all kind of adding up. I think the licensing is a lot of it, but overall, when it comes down to it, it's a very cool monster truck and you're going to get a lot of use out of it. And you could upgrade it as well. Like I, I told you guys before, there's a bun bunch of option parts. So if you want to grow into this truck, customize it, I, I think we're going to see a lot of stuff for it. 